567.4 pounds. That is a crazy woo, amount of woo. weight. <laughs> this edit is crazy. This edit is crazy, dude. Whoever put this edit together, you're a bad person for that. Damn. Man, one thing I've seen about Amber is that she, her eyes do not leave the plate. Have you guys ever noticed that? Her eyes just always are centered towards the food. Oh my gosh. You put potatoes in this? Is that, what is that? What is this? What What is this white stuff? What is that? I see potatoes. I think that's onions. Some kind of, what is that? Is that like, maybe tomatoes? Is that a Jolly Rancher? You would think this would be a wake-up call for her. I mean, to be honest, she's had like 40 wake-up calls in like a year, right? I mean, that time that she didn't take a shower for an entire year, <clears throat> and if Becky didn't do it, nobody was going to do it. To sit there and have to seed over all your, your personal responsibilities, such as washing yourself to somebody that you're in a relationship with, is a very, very saddening, especially given the fact that, you could literally alleviate the problem of not being able to wash yourself because you couldn't get up off the whatever bed or platform that she was on, which is probably the reason why she's so drastically out of breath at this particular moment in time. Like she's literally just ran like five consecutive marathons back to back to back to back to back. It sounds to me like this would be a glaring issue. And you know, you would think, okay, I'm gonna go to the doctor. I'm at least gonna get this checked up to see what I'm, what's going on with me. Instead, this is just a normality for her. Like having this to be an issue it's just normal. It's no problem. Like, no problem at all to just be gasping for air as if you just ran five marathons. Reality. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be your reality, Amber. You could always just lose weight. I mean, granted, she's been trying to lose weight. And to be honest, there are some people out there that have lost a drastic amount of weight. I remember I was talking to a girl the other day, and she said, I lost, I think she said she had lost, like, 250 to 250 to 300 pounds and I thought about that and I thought you I think you've probably lost in total like two Ariana Grande's worth of weight think about that right that's two individual people that were on your body that are no longer on your body and then when I look at somebody like Amber I think she's got about three or four Ariana Grande's just on her body but the difference is a lot of times I feel like people don't realize this is that the weight that you have on your body that's not like another person in the sense of like muscle, bone, you know, actual thought processes and things like that and so forth. No, no. It's just useless weight. It's literally just weight doing nothing for you besides prohibiting you. Your joint pains, your knees literally grinding together, the the lack of, I don't know, probably erection support. I know plenty of men that personally I know that are above the, I, I would say BMI of 30, that have a very hard time enjoying erections. And to be fair, they may not be having a lot of sex, so they probably don't really need to. But listen, if you want to like beat off real quick, I feel like this is something that we usually don't talk about within this particular sphere. But if you are somebody that wants to enjoy the sensation of another man or the sensation of a woman, whatever you're into, I wouldn't be into the sensation of a man. But if you want to be into it, that's fine. I think you should enjoy it through the realm of an erection. Now, a lot of men, you know, such as myself, have no problem having erections. But when you're big and you're voluptuous and you have extra, you have extra storage capacity in your body doing nothing for you, your hormones are just perpetually folded. They're perpetually fucked. So you're gonna have to have, you're gonna have some complications there, which is uh, erectile dysfunction. I mean, a lot of these guys are like probably five on the like the free testosterone scale. This is my reality. Who is ready for a snack? Me. Snack, snack, snack. Hey guys, so I had my- Dancing for that food is crazy, man. Amber's the only person I've ever seen like actually dance to the degree that she does, man. That like, she can actually dance pretty well for a woman of her size. My appointment with my dietitian. Um, the way that they want me to eat. You know what I don't understand about Amber is that she says she has dietitians quite a bit. Like I see this mm, every year. She has like a new dietitian or somebody that she calls her dietitian. And sometimes it's not even a dietitian. I remember she literally had a video where she said that some girl that she had met on Instagram that had messaged her, she counted her as her dietitian because she got some health advice from her, which is, I don't really even know at this point if Amber actually does or ever have had, has 
a dietitian, given the fact that she's been lying about it for such an extended period of time. And then also, has it been helping? Probably fucking not. I mean, I'm literally looking at Amber from year to year to year, losing a ton of weight and then regaining that weight over like that next year. So like if your end goal, for instance, Amber's end goal would be, oh, I'm trying to reach 499 pounds or like 399 pounds. And then she like loses a little bit of weight. And then by the end of that year where she was supposed to do 399 pounds, she'll be like 520. Like, how'd you fail so drastically you went up in the other direction? That's craziness. But for somebody like Amber, that's a normal. That's a normal thing. That's just that's just like a, a built-in feature. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you were to look at the boom and bust cycles of capitalist countries, right? I think it's a feature. Having booms and busting, right? Maybe not that kind of busting, but you know what I'm talking about. The busting cycles and eventually you come back up. I feel like it's like that for Amber, except she has way more busting than there is booming which is very, very sad. I mean, I guess it really depends on your definition of booming, but you know what I'm saying. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Really. Oh, let's go back. I, got, I think I missed. Oh, because I'm... Want me to eat? I'm scared. I'm terrified. Jen, um, the way that they want me to eat? I'm scared. I'm terrified, really. They literally want me to have snacks in the day which i never do like they come on amber dude i there are literal you know what's so interesting about a, a somebody like amber is that she has years and years of documentation of all the foods that she's eaten through her videos through the live stream she's done through the tiktok videos whatever super heavily used like i mean you could literally find encyclopedic no, she does actually have an encyclopedia which is incredible but it's insane that she could say this stuff, given the fact that it'd literally be easy to just look up a video of Amber Lynn body slamming snacks in the daytime. I could probably go to like five videos. If you just look up Amber Lynn Reed eating snacks on YouTube, you'll probably come across like 30 videos, not even joking with you. So when Amber says this bullshit, like, oh, I, I never snack. That'd be like a gay dude during Pride Month going, bro, look. I don't suck dick, okay? I've never done that. I've never enjoyed the sensation of another man in my mouth. I don't enjoy the girthliness of a, a man's massive megalodon meat in my mouth. It's pre it's not preferable for me. Um, I'm just a little gay. Like, I'm, I, I have a wife. You know, I love my wife. Anyway, um... Yeah, dude, I think, it, I think it's probably the best thing ever. And then you go, oh, okay, yeah, bro. And then you turn around and all you hear is... You know, like that. Like, that he just sucked you off right there. It's it's obvious. Like, I, you can't tell me that you don't snack when I know you snack. There's proof. You can't say that. I asked my favorite food, and I literally said, right. Everything. It should just, when you ask that question to Amber, what's your favorite food? And she writes it. You know how in some movies, how they go, uh-huh. How, how much is it going to take? How much is it going to take? And the guy looks around, he's like... Uh, uh, he gets a napkin and he writes down a number on the piece of paper and he just goes, puts it down, slides it across the table. I feel like for Amber, if you asked her what's her favorite food, she would go, write it down, right? Slide it across the table. You looked it up. It would just say all. A-L-L, -L, okay? And then uh, that, that one anthracans or whatever it's called, the accentuation point. Accentuation point. I don't know. Okay, look, I, you know what I'm talking about. In the day, which I never do, like they asked my favorite food and I literally said, rice hot get the fuck out of here dude fucking rice dude that does not sound like cheetos that does not sound like pizza stop lying to me dude i never do like they asked my favorite food and i literally said rice hot cheetos and ice cream okay. i mean those are pretty the last two definitely i don't know about the rice you don't have to lie there's really no point in lying i know that you always want to i remember when i was a kid and i went to the dentist and the dentist was like yeah you know you got a, you got a couple cavities um but like let me know uh what do we candy and i was like i mean no uh, no nah, no nah, no nah, not really if i do i probably uh it's probably gum like i probably chew gum a lot that's probably it and i remember my mom was looking at me like eh? oh yeah oh yeah and the even the dentist was looking at me like uh-huh okay dude whatever the fuck you say and it's like you don't have to lie why are you lying if you really going if you're really going to a doctor or a dietitian to seek out help and that dietitian or that individual asks you what your problems are and you can't articulate what those problems are, how do you expect that particular individual to accompany those things? How do you expect to have any of your problems actually be alleviated given the fact that nobody even knows what your ailments are? 
You understand? Like, you can't. That's not how that works. You need to actually vocalize what these things are. The, the doctor or the dietitian is not a mind reader. Nobody is sitting there like Professor X touching on his head thinking, oh, yeah, I know exactly what Amber Lynn wants to eat and how she eats and how much she eats. Nobody does that, okay? Nobody can do that. I'm sorry that Professor X is not your dietitian. But it's your job as a I mean, let's be honest here for a second. As a grown adult, a big grown adult, big age, big number, to tell the doctor what your problems are, and hopefully that dude or whoever that is can help you with that issue. It's not good to just say nothing or lie. That was my top three responses, and they said, okay, well, have ice cream. Man, who the fuck was this guy? Can we talk about that? Who, 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 who'd you go to, by the way? That, that's a dietitian. Did you like walk down the street and just see some guy and you were like, yo, you're a dietitian? The guy was like, oh, yeah, that's me. I'm a dietitian. And then you just like, he just told you to eat ice cream? Is that what it is? Because at this point, that, there's no way a dietitian is going to tell you to body slam some ice cream. That might have been like a passing remark. You know what I'm saying? It could have been something like, so what do you think? Like, what do you think I should eat? And the dietitian was like, ah, come on. You know, you're, you're funny. Like, you know, obviously I want you to eat ice cream. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. And maybe you didn't hear the I'm joking and you just heard the go ahead and eat ice cream part. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like, kind of like uh, if you were in a conversation with a guy and he was like, man, I, I buy my food. I buy my wife food. Uh, I buy my wife MK purses and all this other stuff because she do me so right. You know what I'm talking about? Like she do me so right. Um, she cooks, she cleans for me and all this other stuff. And then you go. Maybe I should cook and clean for you so I can get an MK purse. Ha, 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 ha. Like as a passing joke and he takes it serious and whips out his dick. That's obviously a little bit too far, right? You didn't, you don't understand the context. Like maybe it was like a passing remark. Maybe it was something that was not serious. I don't know. Like what, what, what dietitian you know is going, <laughs> body slams some ice cream. Yeah, why not? Have hot Cheetos. But like maybe, maybe it's okay to do that within the quantity at which you were eating it. Because it's all right to eat those things under lower quantities. But the problem with Amber Lynn is that because she eats food that is drastically high in calorie and she does it so frequently, that's a big problem. Whereas what she should be doing instead is trying to find foods that she's enjoying and possibly she can make them more higher calorie, but at least she can eat more of them for lower calories, if that makes any sense. I'm just like so scared right now. I actively need to lose weight. I'm gonna die. All right, you guys. So, we just got back home. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I just, I you know, sometimes I just don't even take her serious. Like, if I don't lose weight, I'm gonna die. I mean, I've probably heard that how many times? Like, I don't know, easily five or six times. Um, and then why does it every single time you say that? And then like two weeks later, I see you body slamming McDonald's. Like I just see you outside the, the McDonald's, like eating KFC wrappers, dude. And there's like assortments of whole bunch of like wrappers for a girl that don't drive. She real deal. Get around the block too quick to get them, them fast foods, man. Because we went to Trader Joe's. We got some ciabatta rolls, baked cheese crunchies. Ten recommend. Damn! Damn. Damn. How big is that bag, dude? It's like a Doctor Who, like the TARDIS itself. It's bigger on the inside. What's the storage capacity on that? Stuff Three of those. those. <laughs> Artichoke, <laughs> jalapeno <laughs> dip. Like we stocked up, y'all. Bread, lentil, chocolate peanut butter mochi. Stuff. This is from the video where this. I remember this video, dude. This girl, like, she had took her boyfriend to court, and then in the courtroom, the guy was like, yeah, dog, like, yeah. So the the the, the judge was like, when was the last time you had contact with Mrs. Margaret? And she he was like, yeah, last night we was in the room together and she like, damn, she was really giving me fellatio and whatever. Damn, her mouth be feeling so good. I love the way her lips feel on my BBC, yeah. But if you ask me, I don't think it. I think if you're a black dude and you think that because you're a black dude, that just automatically means that you got BBC, <laughs> you're lying to yourself, okay? If you got anything below eight inches, that's BBC Junior territory, okay? Six to eight inches, BBC Junior. Anything above eight, that's BBC territory. So if you're, stick, if you're, if you're sticking in that little mid ground, you know, of six to eight inches, I'm sorry to say this. You don't got the BBC. You got the junior. It's all right to say you got the junior. Just don't be bragging about it as if you got the actual BBC. Because you don't. You don't have BBC. I got BBC, except I'm white. But I could still be considered under the rank of BBC. Because naturally, my... I mean, if I'm being honest with you for a second. If somebody were to ask me, if they were to go, David, what's, what's your biggest insecurity in your life? 
what is like that one thing that really holds you back? It would be, I cannot like every day when I wake up and I, I, I realize like I sit, I get up out of my bed and I put my head, I put my head in my hands and I go, I cannot believe that every day I have to wake up with these feelings, these emotions, this drastic change in my life because I, I have come to the realization that there are so many people on this planet that are never going to realize the sheer joy and beauty of looking down between your legs and seeing a giant pendulum, having it drag across the floor, being scraped up with rug burn, and having this giant megalodon massive meat and I just so many men out there that are just stacking just average penises. They have no idea how beautiful it is to be sitting here walking bow legged because my shit is like, you know, I'm, I'm if I turn too fast, I might accidentally break the sound barrier or something. Somebody might, you know what I'm saying? If I move too quick in one direction, I might, I might decapitate a couple people. And it's real tough to work under this idea that I am so incredibly big meated that the idea of the length and the girth of my particular genitalia is so incredibly infathomable that the regular ideas of how we measure things, like the units of measurement that we use, are so far out of the realm of how I would calculate my, my measurements. That would be my biggest insecurity. What, what were we talking about again? Hot stickers and cheese tamales. And I have realized... I'm so much better than majority of you. Yeah, I love this video, dude. I love this video so much, man, because Amber is real deal. Man, people always tell me, like, Amber is such a narcissist. She thinks she's better than everybody. She real deal, like, always puts it on display. And I'm always like, really? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't really see it. But then I see very, very, like, obvious examples of it. And I'm always like, ah, I can't really defend it. I, I mean, she's blatant right here by saying that she's so much better. I don't know what the context is here. I think this is like a Snapchat or something like that. What is that right there? Is that my screen? Is that your screen? I don't know. But it is so obvious to me that Amber has a big problem. And she if she if she thinks that she's better than people, man, that is insane. Given the fact that she's been struggling with her weight for so incredibly long. I wonder by what metric she thinks she's better than us. I mean, truth be told, it would be a beautiful life. If you could spend three thousand dollars a month on fast food, but to be to be fair, I don't even know what I would even do. With three k thousand, three thousand dollars worth a month of fast food, I guess just go. If somebody was like, "Hey, David, here's three thousand dollars for you," I think the average person spends two to three hundred dollars on themselves a month when it comes to food. So if you gave me three thousand, which is like ten times more than the highest metric, then that would mean like, and you said I had to spend it. I think I'd probably just go to Mickey D's and I would buy probably like I don't even know a couple hundred, a couple hundred. McChickens, and then I would rent like a limousine, and I would have some. Uh, I would have like a guy look like Alfred drive the the limousine, and I would poke my head out of the sunroof, and I would go to like the downtown area, and I would just chuck McChickens at homeless people all day. I, that's what I'll be doing. I'd be I'd be bestowing upon people McChickens, and I feel like that's the American dream. I feel like that's real. That's how you know you made it in America if you could do that. And I feel like Amber is really not, she's not utilizing what she really, I mean, let's, let's be honest here for a second. $3,000 in your mouth every single month is craziness, man. Um, I would do it only um, given that I could keep that money also. Like if you could give me the 3000 and I could just have it lay over, then I would do it. But uh, I, could, I don't think I could actually eat $3,000 worth of food a month. That sounds crazy to me. Five hundred and sixty-four. <sighs> oh my God. Amber, Amber, how'd you, she can't cut her own nails, right? That's really, that's what it comes down to, man. She can't cut her own nails. For me, it's no problem, you know, like I'm gonna give you a fine example. I'm wearing pajamas, okay? It's dark out right now. I got home a little bit ago, so don't make fun of the pajamas, but look at this right here, ready? Look at this, see how, you see how easy it is for me to lift up leg? I don't even have to like, I can just no hands and I can just go like this, right? Look at that. And then if you think, David, that's just for your left leg. Like, you can't do that for your right. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? You see what I'm talking about? And I'm not trying to brag about my dexterity. Kind of am a little bit. But when I see toenails that look like this, I, I always wonder, if you didn't have somebody in your life that did that for you, what would happen? Like, if you didn't have somebody 
like Becky, like Wifey, or like somebody else that was in your life. And you know what? To be honest, dude, I don't, I, I don't even know how you convince somebody to even do this at all. Like, okay, maybe you have uh, an elderly parent that needs help with this. Maybe it's like a person that you know that's in need. But like, what if you, how would you even tell somebody if you start, if you get into a relationship with them, right? And you're like, hey, um, I know we've been dating for a week and a half. But uh, I know it's going to sound a little embarrassing. I haven't cut my toenails in four months. Can you go ahead down there real quick with some hedge clippers and just try your try your hardest? Put some tricep in it. You know, like try to really get in there to get one or two of those off because it's really uncomfortable for me. I would, I would genuinely want to know because obviously Amber can't do it herself. She literally said she couldn't clean herself for over a year straight. So the idea of her cutting her toenails is pretty low on the totem pole when it comes to cleaning yourself. I'm being a buck with you, okay? I would much rather have long, I've seen some Indian guys that professionally grow out toenails, okay? So I think if they can put up with it, I probably could put up with it. But granted, I would never wanna put up with it. I don't know why you would ever want this to be bestowed upon you. But if for somebody like Amber, I, I, I literally think it is impossible for Amber to cut her own toenails. So. Given that information, I see why her toenails are so dilapidated. They're like literally hanging on for dear life, like some witch's cauldron or something like that. Like, you know what I'm saying, dude? Like, you see that like Dor Dor Dorothy behind her and uh, the Wicked Witch of the West probably had better taking care of nails than this, actually. <laughs> yeah, why you got to zoom in on it, man? That's just gross. My boot box have always just been me eating. I'd rather suck on like Jeff Bezos's... <laughs> hold up now. Let me get... Hold on. Maybe if I got some, mm, if I knew, if Jeff Bezos knocked at my door and he had told me to suck him off, obviously I think most people probably would because it's Jeff Bezos and I don't, I don't know who would say no, but if he like sweetened the deal a little bit, like if he pulled up to my house and he knocked at my door and he was like, yo, David, uh, I'm going to give you three months Amazon prime free. If you can indulge real quick on my big Jeff Bezos, I would be like, yeah, a hundred percent. I'm fucking, I'm mouth washing that dude. No problem. I'll probably come back for seconds. It's Jeff Bezos, dude. You're not saying no. Don't fucking lie to me. You know, you <laughs> don't just don't. Okay. It's not, it's not within question. Jeff Bezos meat in your mouth. You would brush your teeth with that. No problem. Right. You would drink that man's bath water. Am I lying? Am I lying? Am I, am I lying? I don't even know what we're talking about. A normal meal. So this is just rotisserie chicken. So, <sighs> this is kind of like what I imagine the outside of Shaquille O'Neal's, like, if you looked at Shaquille O'Neal, I don't know if he's circumcised or not, because I've never actually seen Shaquille O'Neal's penis before, but I kind of imagine this is what it kind of looked like, you know, because it's probably so massive that the skin itself is probably just like, you know what I'm saying? It's probably not like realistic. It's probably, it probably looks like this, right? How much lotion do you think you would need to even properly lubricate that? You know, you're just going to have to sit there like, yo, let me get some lotion. You're just uh, like this. For 45 minutes, eventually you go like this, and then you just get the left side. You know what I'm saying? Just coat down that left side real quick. And then you go, do it for another 30 minutes, coat down that the right side. And then you got the sack. But by the time you get the right and then the sack, the left side is now dry again. So you're going to have to keep lubricating it over and over and over again. If Shaquille O'Neal paid me good money, I could be a professional penis lubricator. Not like that, but like, you know, with lotions and other things. I'm just going to dive right in. <gasps> We are going to eat the shrimp. Not too bad. Shrimp's like a really good low calorie, high protein uh, food. So, but it's very expensive. So, shrimp. and it realistically is just uh, sea spiders. Oh. oh wow. Okay. That's a hill. Food's here. Damn. Ooh. Oh, that smells good. I think Wait, everything. Awesome. I think everything probably smells good to Amber. If I'm gonna keep it a buck, I've I've rarely ever seen Amber not like a food. And if she uh, did say she didn't like it, she still body slams it. Like there was that one video where she was like, "I don't really like pizza, to be honest. Like pepperoni. I'm not a pepperoni pizza girly, 
but I mean, I'm hungry and then proceeds to body slam the entire box of dominoes. You can't just say you don't like something while slamming that shit down in your mouth. That's not how that works. We're mukbangs, not mukbangs of weight loss. I call them mukbangs because I heard a Chinese guy say it one time like that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Some people I actually really like this uh, sweater, dude. Get off on me gaining weight. That's a fact. Oh man, I'm so glad Amber brought that up, dude. I, I, I've been thinking this for so long. Like when I see Amber eat or when I see Foodie Beauty eat, because sometimes they're just sitting there and they're not really saying anything at all. And they're just like eating. For me personally, it's very uncomfortable to watch somebody eat. I don't really get much joy out of, out of it at all. But for a lot of people, I feel like because they're just sitting there just fucking and they're just swallowing copious amounts of food over and over and over again, right? I see this and I go, they're literally not saying anything. They're just eating. Obviously, there's somebody on the other end of the monitor, dick out, beaten off, dude. They're just, they're just, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Why else would you be watching something like this, right? I mean, sure, there might be some people that genuinely want to watch Amber eat. I don't know, like, why you would, but if that's what you want to do, sure, I'm not going to, like, hate. I mean, it's a little weird. I'm going to hate on you a little bit, but I feel like I have more respect for the guy that has, like, a really weird sexual preference because he probably started watching porn real young like we all do and now he just really likes watching very very big women eat copious amounts of food and gain weight over a, a period of time granted i wouldn't be into that i mean if you're gonna do stuff with food i would hope that it's like hot sauce or something like that i know a lot of black guys like to suck toes with hot sauce or sweet baby's rays i wouldn't be opposed to it i don't really like sucking hot sauce off toes in general but it would be a much preferable thing to do then watch Amberlynn eat. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd rather suck toes, man or woman toes, because ultimately I don't think it really matters to be honest. Um, as long as the guy takes care of his feet, that's probably okay. Um, I wouldn't do it for sexual pleasure though, personally. But I'm saying I would much rather do that over watching Amber eat. But there are a lot of guys out there 100% and maybe some women too. But I've never really met a woman ever in my entire life that actually told me that she's into that. And I've met a lot of really weird women. Like I know I, I knew one girl and she was like, oh, I want you to eat me. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know I got the skill. And she was like, yeah, bring over a fork and knife. And I was like, okay, well, uh, that's not exactly what I thought you meant by that. You know, I didn't think that you meant like, what do you mean? Like a fork and knife for what? Like you going to cook me a meal? And she was like, nah, like I'm going to probably give you my leg tonight. And then you're going to have to do that right. And I was just kind of thinking, I don't even know how you get a preference like that. But I met a lot, like the point I'm making is I've met a lot of women that are into weird stuff, right? But I've never met a woman that was into weird stuff like that. Like I've never met a woman that was like, you know what I'm saying? On the watching somebody else eat until they can't stop eating. I've never met a woman like that. I'm sure they exist. I want weight loss to be my job. I want to eat, breathe, sleep weight loss. So for my first meal today, I actually ordered Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Damn, Amber is so funny, dude. Amber is so cool. She's so cool, man. I know this plant's fake. Ain't no way. Look, I'm going to keep it a buck. Amber can barely take care of herself. This is not a real plant. This shit would die inside of four days. And I know because I, I bought a plant one time from a Chinese vendor down the street that was selling DVDs. And I asked him, I was like, what are you, are you selling these? He was like, yeah. And I was like, how much? And he was like, $2, $2, $2. And I was like, all right. And I pulled out a five and I was like, you got change? He was like, nah. He's like, it's okay though. And I was like, nah, it's not okay. What the hell are you talking about? Don't you mean it's okay? I'm not going to give you a five for this. Anyway. I broke the five and I came back and I gave him two and he gave me the plant. And I remember I was, oh man, I was real deal taking care of this plant. But by the second day it was dying. And I was like, why is it dying? Like I'm, I'm feeding it. I'm watering it. I'm talking to it. I'm, I'm serenading it. Right. I had it on the, the windowsill right there and then it died. And then it had like the thing, you know what I'm saying? Like it was like that little thing that tells you what the plant is. And I was like, let me look up this dude. Like, let me see what, it, what he actually needs to live. And it said like water once a week. And I was like, uh, yeah, I probably watered him like five times today. You know, like I filled him up today. Like, I ah, see why now he died. So that just kind of goes to show you if I can't take care of a plant, I know Amber can't take care of a plant. I mean, she's literally been on the, 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 the brink of death for the past 10 years. I'm actually really surprised sometimes when I look at Amber and I'm like, wow, she can really, 
She's really doing a lot for a woman of uh, 500, almost 600 pounds. And people say that she was almost 700 pounds at one point. So, I mean, even at that size, like, it's crazy that she was even able to do anything in general. But I think it's really hilarious that Amber can say those words like, I want to live, breathe, and sleep sweet, whatever, weight loss, and then finish off with, yeah, but I just ordered some Chick-fil-A real quick. I mean, yo, I mean, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> I mean, it really wasn't my fault at all. Like, I opened up my phone and... And I just, I don't know, like my finger slipped all the way to the, like, I had to scroll over three tabs and then my fit, my thumb slipped real quick on the Uber Eats app. And then it skipped over to the Chick-fil-A and then I tripped on the floor. And then by the time I tripped on the floor, it was already ordered. I mean, I don't even know like what happened now. So before anyone says anything about ordering out food, don't do it, don't do it. I disagree. True. Calories in, calories out. So I chose to have... A chicken ramen. You can't eat ramen with the spoon, right? Like the ramen will slide right off the spoon. Here's some avocado. Just yeah. raw? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's ramen. What do you mean what? What do you mean what? It's like the most processed shit in the world, man. Like they literally tell people that it's not real food and you're going, oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, she got to eat with the fork. Wow. It's ramen, dude. Wow. Your dog? Is that your dog back there? What happened to it? Why is his bed up here? Why is it? Okay. I don't know. That's weird to me. Are you ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Mmm. Did you just say mmm? Amber is so... Isn't it weird that we eat things that we, we aren't supposed to eat? Like, in what in what universe did you ever think that somebody was going to go, listen, yo, guys, I was like, I was, I was outside today, right? I took a swim out in the water, and I saw this stuff that was just kind of, like, growing off the side of a wall. Um, and I was like, damn, that shit kind of look a little bit good. Ah. Oh. So what I did, right, is I went over to it, and I grabbed a handful of it, and then I brought it up to shore. And then I just started eating it. Like, I, I don't know. Like, those, I, I don't know what was wrong with me. But I started munching on that. And it was pretty good. You guys want to eat the seaweed? Who did that? Who did that? Who Whoever thought to suck on some seaweed and thought that was going to taste good in your mouth. Isn't that crazy how we do that? By the way, I hate it when people are like, can't I just, can't I just live? Can't I just eat my food in peace? I hate it when, you know, especially when it comes to somebody like Becky and I know she doesn't want to be on camera. I know that she finds it agonizing. She's literally said as much and she was only putting up with it because Amber is, that's her job. And she kind of, you know, you're compromising and things like that, which I can vibe with because being compromising in relationships is pretty apparent. It's something you're going to have to do, but to the extent to where you're literally sacrificing so much of your life in order to appease somebody else, it's, it hurts me very deeply given the fact that I don't know, personally speaking, okay, this is like all looking outside looking in. I don't know what Amber was sacrificing in order to be with Becky, right? Usually it's a mutual thing. Usually if you're in a relationship, there's going to be a give and take. So whereas like, okay, I will consent to not doing this anymore as long as you consent to not doing this anymore. And in return, I'll do this for you and you do this for me. For somebody like Amber, and I heard the horror stories of Amber um, I've heard the stories of Becky literally saying like, oh, I had to clean her. I had to wash her. I had to cook her food. She was emotionally manipulative. She, I did this, you know, all these times that she had to put up with Amber. And I think, wow, okay. But like, what did Amber, you know what I'm saying? Like, what did Amber have to do in order to put up with Becky? Like nothing? Was it nothing? Was it all commitment from Becky and nothing from Amber? That's terrible. That is not good. That is not a good sign of a relationship. And it's very, very weird. And also, like I said, just let me live. Let me enjoy my fermented seaweed that we've bought at a 99 cent store that was probably really, really inexpensive. Let me eat it in peace, okay? If I want to make mouth noises, which is literally the personification of Amber, let me enjoy my mouth noises. Did you just say, mm? Becky really kind of dresses like she's Justin Bieber from 2011, dude. You know what I'm talking about? Back when Usher and Justin Bieber... Are you for real? Mm -hmm. okay. Baby, are you for real? Yeah, I like it. Uh, <laughs> I love how she's like, yeah, like, what do you, what do you, why are you, why are you asking me that? Like, is it, is it weird that I, <laughs> is it weird that I like food when you literally put everything in your mouth and you think that shit is delicioso? 
this is how I looked. When Man, I that's crazy, bro. She, oh, I know she's not thin here. What has she got to be, like 300, 350 here? She looks so thin in comparison to how Amber looks now. But you know what's really, really dissatisfying to me is that Amber is like 500 and some change pounds, dude. How the hell did I, how the hell am I looking at you at 300 pounds and looking at you at 500 pounds and going, what, you look good here. You look real good here. This is still not good, by the way. Being 300, 350 pounds, not good. <laughs> it's not, it's not good, right? But it's significantly better compared to where she is, you know, currently and uh, the the amount of non-progress that she's had. When I was around 360. I knew it. Which still wasn't my lowest, but. Yeah, when I was a baby, I was thinner. I looked good. I kind of see an hourglass figure. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You're not saying that, Amber. What are you talking about? What you mean you see where? Where are you seeing that? Huh? Where are that? I'm seeing loaves. I'm seeing lumps. I don't see no hourglass. You ain't no be You just talking about hourglass at 360? What are you talking about? An hourglass at 360? That is so offensive to anybody that actually does possess an hourglass. That is crazy, bro. You have to be. This is rage bait. There's no way that's real. She's lying, dude. That's crazy to say. I kind of see an hourglass. That's like me going like, I mean, I, I guess I'm black. I'm a real. I got black woman magic. Look at me, black girl. Man, I'm black. I kind of look a little bit black right now. That's crazy, Amber. What are you talking about? Get the hell out of my face. Lowest, but I looked good. I kind of see an hourglass figure. I don't know. So I like to eat the softer ones first. That's like so weird. I know, but hi. It's not really, it's not really weird. I mean, so, okay. She thinks she's so unique, man. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Amber thinks that she just, like, if you just start saying stuff, she thinks that like adds to the lore or something like that. I don't know, man. It's just weird. <laughs> mm. Damn, I get dude. sad when it's all gone. Dude, what are you? I ain't even lying. You get sad when it's all gone? What are you even scraping up right now? The paint from the from the from the plate? Damn, Amber, this is a sad. I've never seen somebody so sad before. All the food is gone, and look at them looking at the plate. Look at Amber just gazing at that plate. The the despair in her eyes, like damn can't believe I bodied it so quick. I wish there was more on the plate so I could just ingest it. I wish I could just suckle and suck attach that plate. I always eat these so fast. Wait you just cleaned that. you just cleaned the fork like twice. I'm like, mm, where are the crumbs at though? Okay. That's fine, Amber. I mean, if that's, I mean, that's some, damn, dude. That's some real food aggression right there, dude. You really licking up the, the crumbs like that? Oh, man. You got a problem. Oh, my God. Have you never been outside before? No, I haven't. <laughs> she got, like, a guitar pick. What is Ooh, this? Yes, what I'm is this right. angle? What is even going on? What the hell is that? Dude, why does she wear these shoes, man? How come I only ever see her wearing these leggings? Can somebody tell me, please, down in the comment section? I'm, I'm very interested. Does she not have pants? Like, actual pants? Does she not wear, like, jeans or something like that? Like, I got jeans, right? I got jeans right here. Right? Look. I got jeans. Damn, dude. I had pennies and quarters in my jeans. You see what I do? You see what I do? But I got jeans, right? See? I got jeans. And I wear these sometimes, right? And I have other pants. But I only ever... And then to prove that I have other pants, you guys saw earlier. So, like, you see my legs, right? There's Those are pants, too. Does Amber only have like one pair of pants because I only ever see her wearing these and then those really really small shoes That look uncomfortable to wear like no support at all. No support in these I Where are even your toes in these particular shoes? Are these even shoes? These look like something that like a casting member on black swan left out on this on, on, out in the outside and Amber just kind of scooped them up these can't be uncomfortable, especially for somebody at the size that she is. Is that her leg or is that a tree trunk? True. Why would you even put the camera down there? <laughs> uh, 385? Damn, what was this? There it is, 385.2. Oh, okay, yeah, she's obviously, 
she's younger here. I can tell by the snake bites. I used to be down 89 pounds. Isn't that crazy, dude? She's crying about being down 89 pounds, so like 300 pounds. And now she's just living life at 500. <laughs> I don't know, man. It just kind of hurts me a little bit I'm sometimes. Just disgusted. You know, just continuously moving the goalposts back, right? That's just what it is. Like a guy doing porn, right? It's like a man that does heterosexual pornography. And they go, listen, dude, um, you know, you, you're you real good at having sex with women. But we're willing to double your paycheck right now. If you and Franklin get into bed right now and you just, you don't have to do much. All you got to do is just touch on abs. All you got to do is grab butt cheeks, you know, kiss him a little bit. Put your mouth on his, you know, Long John Silver. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And you go, ah, double, huh? Double? I mean, I guess. I mean, I'll do it for double. And then next week, they're like, yo, you did such a good job last week with Frank. We're willing to real deal, triple your paycheck right now. Right now. If you, we're about to do a gangbang right now, okay? It's going to be crazy. Black guys galore. That's going to be the title of this. And we need you to actually, what's, what's going to happen is there's going to be a big gymnasium, okay? And there are going to be assortments of black men all across the wall, okay? We don't ask where we found the black men. Don't worry about it. Don't even look at them in the face. That's not that's not the point. We need you to break the world record of the most penises sucked in 30 seconds. So what we need actually you to do is we're, you're going to start at the bottom, and there's gonna be a hundred hundred black dudes across the wall. We're gonna have the we're gonna have the the white and the black. So you're gonna double take it, okay? So the most the most genitalia consumed in one in one mouth in one session in 30 seconds, black men. And then you're gonna do it on the white guys. Anyway, so you're gonna so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start at the bottom and you're just gonna run your face like you're just gonna. They're all gonna be standing on stilts. You're gonna run your face across all the BBCs and just have them slap inside of your. If you miss one BBC, you gotta go back. You gotta go back and you gotta swallow him purposefully. And then I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Some of these guys are a little bit excited. Some of these guys have been here for over an hour and they've been anticipating the sweet hot blips that they saw you in that one video. They all know what you got going on. So some of them, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, they're pre-beating. They're, they're, they're hot and ready. So by the time you get to them, you might be laminated. That's okay. Don't worry. If that happens, we'll add in an extra $10. No problem. So uh, we'll pay you 300 bucks right now to do that. Right now. There's only 100 of them. And then, then, you know, the, the white guys too after that. But that's really, we'll give you an extra 10 for that one too, actually. Probably, maybe. I don't know. Actually, we don't have that much budget. But we'll we'll, we'll think about it, maybe. So we'll do it right now. $200, right now. 200 right off the top. You're going to do it, right? All right. Good deal. 150 Let's do it. That's what I hear. Like, you know, you you start off and you're not, you're not inherently gay. But then, like, through the process of making money and you keep having to move the goalposts back, you lose more and more of yourself. And then, ultimately, you're gay. I wasn't expecting to gain that much weight, and I regret it. I am just appalled with myself. I'm just, I'm sorry for this, and I just, I wanted to let you guys know that don't be me. Cool. Do not be me. 567.4 pounds. That is a crazy woo, amount of woo. weight. This edit is crazy. This edit is crazy, dude. Whoever put this edit together, you're a bad person for that. That is not cool, okay? Yes, this is how it happens. Like I said, you keep moving the goalposts back, and eventually being 500, what was that, 563? That becomes a good, it's not too bad, actually. Like, I can, without a doubt, say I've never wanted to lose weight. I was so excited. I took a bite without vlogging. <laughs> I do it. I do that every day. For I eat food every day without without doing it on camera. I take one picture a week of myself, and most of the time, it's a penis picture. Okay. So when Amber complains that she, oh, not complains, but she finds enjoyment, it's just different. I guess, dude. Uh, different strokes. Everything's relative. I got. Let me stop. Wow. I'm it, so confused. It's not that, you know what? I'm sorry. It's not that big of a deal. I got to keep it a buck with you. Not recording yourself eating. It's not that big of a, I know I just said that it's all relative. Nah, I lied. That's, it's not, nah, it's not. <laughs> oh my God. What is happening right now? What are you talking my about? My body won't let me 
lose more weight. That's okay. Is that real? Your body won't let you move. Like that has to be within context. She had to say, she had to have said something else besides that. What? Oh my gosh, the smell of it. So let's do it. Chocolate. Damn, so mm -hmm. quick. Not even embracing the sensation of the chewing or anything like that. Did you hear how fast that went into her mouth and the crunching? That like in mouth crunch, 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 crunch. So let's Listen. do it. Mm. Grind, dude. It's an M and M, okay? Like I get it. It's chocolate. It's good, but it's not that good. You're not sitting there going mm. over chocolate, dude. M and M's at that? Come on, man. Come on, dude. It's not even ble like where was that chocolate made? Like fucking somewhere down in Mexico? Are you happy that you just ate some chocolate that was made freshly off some Venezuelan guy's hands? Come on, dude. Uh huh. Oh my god, it's Dude, so good. Is, how is Becky not saying anything about this, man? I'd be looking back like, yo, Amber, calm down. Like, what are you doing right now? That's just chocolate, right? What's what's in that chocolate? Let me get like one so I could just authenticate how good that is. So we can tell the camera how, how ridiculous you're being right now. I just want Becky to say that. Dude, why are you closing your mouth? Like, you, this is some kind of like ambrosia or something like that. Like, this is the nectar of the gods. It's M&M's. It's just, it's basic, it's basic M&M's, dude. What is this, Christmas variants? So it's just red and green ones? They don't change flavor based off the color on the outside. You know that, right? It's the same thing. Mm. Okay. All right. For the win, y'all. It's an M&M. I don't, okay. Whatever, dude. Okay. For... The win. You about to just, just swallow that shit. Just, you know what I'm talking about? Just open up the pack, take one or two, and then just uh, 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 swallow them down like your mouth. Like, it, it's just a hole. You know what I'm saying? Just opening. Pass it A lot of people are going to, like, disagree with that and be like, but you're dying. Like, I True. understand that completely, but I've done everything. I've literally tried... <laughs> Doing a doctor's plan didn't work. Counting calories don't Dude. work. Weight Watchers don't work. I tried to do a mock Jenny Craig thing recently. Damn. You don't even have to talk about that. Damn. That don't work. I've done vegan, don't work. Vegetarian. I've tried low carb. Like, none of it works. Sorry, vegans. Is that even okay to say? I liked eating at home more than constantly getting takeout. Then how you, how you gonna say that with takeout in your mouth right now? Man, how can you say all of this when you got these big, non-organic, BBC-sized bananas behind you? You couldn't just swallow, like, one or two of those down? This is that iconic clip where she was like, oh, I ordered a vegan sandwich. I ordered two apples, but instead they gave me potato chips. I don't even know how you even messed that up, by the way. Like, if I'm sitting here and going, let me get two apples and you put potato chips in the bag, you didn't, like, pick up the bag and go, wait, hold up. Actually, it's kind of light. It's a little light right now on the bot. Hold up. Let me. Do you not look in the bag? Do you? I look in the bag. Anytime I'm going anywhere and I order food from someplace, which is not very often, but when I do, I always go like this. Like, you know, just gonna touch them on the side like that. Like, oh, yeah, okay. One, I talk. One, two, three. Okay, that's good. You know, that's good. Because sometimes these workers, they're overworked, whatever, right? They're gonna mess up. I always give them the benefit of the doubt, right? Except for the times where you scan that free any size fry you know what i'm talking about man that's just so disrespectful when you scan that any size fry and they look at you and they go what size and you go what are you talking about right now like you think oh, what do you what do you what do you you know what i want <laughs> you know what i want you what are you talking about what do you mean what size do i want do you have fucking what are you dumb give me the large give me the large i need the large the big one the biggest one you got and the fact that you try to disrespect me by thinking I wanted anything other than the large, get out of my face. I need somebody. I need the manager. I need that dude to come over and apologize to me right now. Anyway. I liked eating at home more then why are you still than eating constantly getting takeout. I order takeout every single meal. I, I, I probably, this probably makes a lot of sense. If you racking up 3K a month in food, I, I mean, I struggle. Oh, man, dude. If for me, right, every single month, I could probably realistically live off of like two to $300 a month from groceries. No joke, right? I can make a lot of food. I can make a lot of food off 300 bucks, right? And that's counting in water too. I don't know how on God's green earth Amber managed to get, like, there ain't no way if you told me to get $3,000 worth of grocery food, dude, that all of it's going, all of it's expiring, all of it. That's why I said, like, I need that money to re, re, re over, you know, but 
Amber eating out as much as she does. I mean, even eating out. Like, think about this, right? If you're ordering takeout for yourself, how much you ordering? Like, maybe 20, 30 bucks worth of food, right? You do that every single meal. That's like 90 bucks a day. I can see it adding up. But, like, it's so crazy that Amber can throw that shit back to the extent that she does to where it doesn't phase her. Like, you know what I'm saying? How do you not look at your phone and look at your bank statement and go, oh my God, $3,000 on my bank account right now because I ate so much. How do you not see that and go, this is ridiculous? Practically. Whenever I order something, I have to order multiples or Why? the worst thing on the menu. And it's like- uh, I got a friend that does that too, man. I got a friend that goes, Oh, man, you know, David, they got that two for six going on right now. Mickey D's and spicy McChickens. Uh, I'll probably get two of those, but, like, you know I got to get the beef. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, Mickey D's, you got to get the beef, right? And I'm, I'm going, I mean, you don't got to. You could just get the two spicy McChickens, and that's good for you. That will do you right. Yeah, but I kind of want the drink, too. I mean, it's Mickey D's. They got the best Coca-Cola. Obviously, I got to get the drink. So I might as well just get the meal. You know, I'm going to get the two for six. I'm going to get the meal, right? Obviously, I'm going to get the QP. The QP is the best thing on the menu. So I'm going to get the QP, the large fry, and the meal. But you know I got the coupon. So I'm probably going to, I mean, I'll probably get like another bit. I'll probably get a Big Mac on the side, just on the side real quick. Because listen, I mean, I'm, I'm a big man. I need a little bit of something extra. Like you can't just expect me to eat two spicy McChickens and a, a, a QP and not have the Big Mac on the side. What are you, crazy? I need to swallow that shit down today. I'm going <laughs> to... That's, that will do me right. That will do me right. But, you know, I'm going with somebody else, so I'll probably, uh, I'll probably have an extra one on the way just to make sure that, that it set me right. I've had that conversation before. I have. And I, you might be thinking, David, that conversation never happened. That conversation happened. Sometimes people put themselves in positions to where they have to swallow down a few more extra things because they put themselves in the position to do that. And they have to keep justifying it. Or if you need an excuse, you'll find an excuse. It is what it is. Um, if you want to swallow down a couple thousand calories, that's fine. Um, if you're okay with body slamming that many calories, that's okay. But it's just crazy to sit there and go, you're blaming it on everything else but yourself. Let's be honest here for a second. You did that because you wanted that shit in your mouth. You wanted it. I have to order multiples or the worst thing on the menu. And it's like, I sit What there is the worst thing on the menu? Like slavery? Like, oh, what do you, can you, somebody please tell me what the worst thing on the menu would even be. Like, I don't know, hey, dude, you want this, like, grease pile that we left on the stove, like, four hours ago? And Amber goes, yep, throw it on the thing, whatever, I don't care how much it costs, let me swallow that down. What is the worst thing on the menu? I would love to know that, because that's all relative, right? If I'm going to be honest with you, it would be like, if you went to, if you went to Dunkin' Donuts, dude, ah, uh, you know that ice spice, that ice spice uh, latte or whatever that thing is called, man? Listen, I like ice spice. I do. I think that even though a lot of people like her for her ass and her full figuredness and her light skinness and things such and so forth. I like her for those things too. And I like her for her personality, all that stuff that she brings to the table. I like the way she talks and all this other stuff, right? But um, I wouldn't go to, I wouldn't go to Dunkin' Donuts and pick up a quick 1200 calorie drink. That's insane. I think that has to be the worst thing on the menu. It's an abomination. I really, I mean, maybe Ice Spice doesn't care. She probably doesn't order it. Most of the time when you have like a particular drink named after you or something like that, most of these people don't even know about it, right? You probably go up to like Mark Wahlberg and be like, hey, dude, I just came back from Wahlburgers. And you'd be like, what is that? What the fuck is that? What do you mean Wahlburgers, right? I bet you most people don't even know they have restaurants, man. For each meal. And I eat thousands of calories. I don't really know what else to say. I have gained a lot of weight. Takeout food usually has so many calories and I know I can choose like low calorie options and healthier options, but sometimes I'm like, what's the fun in that? True, so I man. That's, you know, that's, that's, that's honest. I mean, true. You know, when you're driving down the street, and you go, I could abide by the street laws, but I'm just really not. I mean, what's the fun in abiding by street laws? This red light? Fuck it. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm hearing, basically. Let's just make bad decisions, because why not? I saw some of the comments from yesterday's video where I did intuitive eating, and I ordered takeout. Amber doing intuitive eating is, that is not good, dude. Oh, my God. Intuitive eating, if you don't know, is eat whatever you feel like eating, and then stop whenever you don't feel hungry anymore. And then eat whenever you do feel hungry. For somebody like Amber, I mean, what is even that? Like, what are you just going to stop at a buffet and never leave? Like, I don't even know. Like, what are you even doing in that scenario, dude? Unlimited food. 
for both my meals and i want to say i actually did really good in my for opinion one, for one day she did good for one day that next day nah So my therapist is helping me with my binge eating and she recommends intuitive eating. Oh man, dude, a therapist? You going to a therapist for diet advice? So I am going to intuitively eat today. Okay, you guys, so. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What's this box right here? Real quick, let me know what that is right here. What's this? What's that right there, huh? That quick cheesecake right there? <laughs> I am eating the first thing that I will be eating today. Let's be real. Intuitively, I want hot Cheetos. Yeah. I filmed the mukbang, um, threw away the rest. That's what I hate about ordering food, though. I never finish it, ever. Man, where's she going, dude? What is this outfit she's got, she's got on right now? What is she going to, like, a speakeasy? A lot of people say, show us nature. What? Go take a walk. Oh. As pathetic as this sounds, I am currently incapable. You know, sometimes I think that people are blissfully ignorant in the sense of they never put themselves in scenarios where they need to test themselves in those scenarios, right? And I think the reason why that they don't put themselves in those scenarios is because secretly, I think they know they can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, no, nah, I'm not going to do that today because you know you can't do it. So you don't want to put yourself in a scenario where you have to see yourself fail, right? Because it's very embarrassing. For somebody like Amber to fully acknowledge, to fully acknowledge that she cannot physically walk or like, contribute in society in terms of like seeing nature that is worse than those people because at least in those people they have never actually seen themselves fail for amber to completely acknowledge that she cannot do it is so crazy and i'm to, to, to also say that while she's body slamming some spaghetti and big meatballs is is just it's just oh oh the chef's kiss Man, one thing I've seen about Amber is that she her eyes do not leave the plate. Have you guys ever noticed that? Her eyes just always are centered towards the food. Spaghetti? A little straw moment. What the? What is that? I'm sorry? What is this? What is this thing? I did that. What is it? I did that. Okay. You, but it was a blender, right? I'm looking at a blender right here. What do you mean you did it? Like I'm looking at a blender. You ever see those um you ever see those Amish women that be churning, you know what I'm talking about? When they be sitting there going like this with the churning of the butter or whatever, right? They those women, if a woman like that was like, Hey, I, I made this butter. I made this, I'd be like, Yeah, you made that. You definitely made that. If you're Amber Lynn and you go like this and you just throw some stuff in a thing and then you put it on top of that and you click go. And then you go, I made this. I made this. I'm going to look at that and go, I mean, that's a pretty loose definition of made. I mean, uh, kind of, sure, but, like, not really. I did that. Why are you dancing for I either? What is that? Like, gravy? That. It's not that okay, good. Okay, I'm excited. So, it's, like, a bunch of different flavors of Kit Kats. Expiration date is not in a year. But, trust me, I won't be having these for that long. <laughs> It True. is doing its thing. A little update on how it You know what? If I'm being honest with you, I think she should just, just throw in a stick of deodorant in this too. Why not? I mean, why not, dude? Which, I mean, it doesn't matter at this point, dude. You might as well just be swallowing deodorant. I mean, what else? What else can you throw in there? Uh, tsh, the lids of spaghettis. You know what I'm talking about? Like that. Throw that in there. Why not, dude? I don't know. Like, it doesn't really matter at this point. Looks. Oh, my gosh. You put potatoes in this? Is that? What is that? What is this? What what is this white stuff? What is that? I see potatoes. I think that's onions. Some kind of What is that? Is that like maybe tomatoes? Is that a Jolly Rancher? Is this a Jolly Rancher right here? It looks delicious. Okay. Or at least to me it does. So here is the completed. What is it? It did boil a lot, which evaporates the broth. What is this? Why is this here? What is this thing? Which I'm totally okay with because this looks delicious. And this okay. is probably the consistency I should start making my chili. 
What but is it? I love it? broth. So this is chili. Um, this is actually super delicious. So if you want to follow my recipe, go for it. Um, it's really good. What the hell is that? Stir. It smells amazing and it looks amazing. What is that? It's super simple, but it tastes really, really good. All right, you guys. It is complete. What is that like? What is that like beef and beans and rice and corn? I don't know about you, but it looks so good. What happened to it? We're gonna do a little taste test. For me, this is one of the best things I've ever made. I recommend That this. ain't really, that's not really saying much given the fact that I've literally seen this girl make some of the worst culinary disasters I've ever seen in my life. But that's, that's all I could do today. That's it, that's the extent to which I can tolerate for this video. <sighs> So if you guys enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. If you want to become a member of my channel, you can by hitting the subscribe button and then the join button comes up there. And when you do join, you'll get special emojis. Okay, I'm working on like special things that we can have next to the names too. Um, I do live streams on this channel at like 6 p.m. Not every day. Usually on Monday, I'm not. Um, Tuesday too, probably not. But like every other day of the week, I'm probably live streaming. So if you ever see me or see the live tab, join up, dude. We're having parties. We're talking about things that really matter. Like what flavor of, I don't know, duct tape you think is the best one. Or if you had to indulge in a particular condom flavor, which one would you pick? Like if you had to put one in your mouth, which one would you, which one would you choose? We're doing stuff like that. We're doing other cool stuff too. Anyway. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in, mm, we think, beans. I like beans. But I probably I probably like beans more than everybody else here, I think. Well, unless you're like Latina or Latino or whatever, dude. I don't like those types of beans, like those pento beans or whatever. I like the Bush's baked beans, the ones that you can get from the store and then you can like throw into stuff. I like those, but I don't eat them very often because they're extremely high in calorie. But I throw them when I have hot dogs. I'll have hot dogs like once a month. I know they're bad for you. And I know they're like foreskin and you know ankles and things like that and who who knows what else is in there it could be like some forbidden meat or something like that but it doesn't matter um you're a beautiful specimen of human being i want to congratulate you on all the progress that you've achieved over the past few months and even the past few years you've really worked on yourself in an exquisite way you have lubricated you have accentuated and you have liberated your body and i really, really treasure you and every part of you for being such an amazing, beautiful, spectacular, unique individual that has the willingness to make changes and do the correct thing for yourself in a very optimal way. So good job, can keep on being amazing. I care for you deeply, I love you. If you wanna check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram and my Twitter and my Discord and my second channel. If you wanna check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.